Welcome to Liturgy of the Hours with Deacon Kevin. This morning we play, we pray Lord's or morning prayer for Wednesday in the 34th week of Ordinary Time or the Memorial of St. Catherine of Alexandria, Virgin and Martyr. St. Catherine was born at the end uh, or towards the end of the second century, the 200s in 287. And it is said According to tradition that she's a Christian saint and virgin and she was martyred uh, early in the 300s in the year 305 at the hands of the Emperor Emperor uh, Maxentius according to her uh, tradition she was both a princess and a noted scholar and became a Christian at around the age of 14 but she was very very prolific in that she converted hundreds of people to Christianity as a virgin and as a martyr also people followed her and remembered her and more than 1100 years later uh, after St. Catherine was killed for the faith uh, St. Joan of Arc identified her as one of the saints who appeared to her and counseled her so she has affected the church in many ways Let us begin with the invitatory. Lord, open my lips and my mouth will proclaim your praise. Cry out with joy to the Lord all the earth and serve the Lord with gladness. Come, let us sing to the Lord and shout with joy to the rock who saves us. Let us approach him with praise and thanksgiving and sing joyful songs to the Lord. Cry out with joy to the Lord all the earth and serve the Lord with gladness. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great King over all the gods. He holds in his hands the depths of the earth and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea, it belongs to him. The dry land too, for it was formed by his hands. Cry out with joy to the Lord all the earth and serve the Lord with gladness. Come then, let us bow down and worship, bending the knee before the Lord our Maker, for he is our God and we are his people, the flock he shepherds. Cry out with joy to the Lord all the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness. Today listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not grow stubborn as your fathers did in the wilderness when at Meribah and Massa. They challenged me and provoked me, although they had seen all of my works. Cry out with joy to the Lord all the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness. Forty years I endured that generation. I said, they are a people whose hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger, they shall not enter into my rest. Cry out with joy to the Lord all the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Cry out with joy to the Lord all the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness. Our hymn, which will be recited as a poem, is found at the, at the bottom of page 860 in the four-volume set. Again, we're in week two of the Psalter, Wednesday morning prayer. We plow the fields and scatter the good seed on the land. It is, but it is fed and watered by God's almighty hand. He sends the snow in winter, the warmth to swell the grain, the breezes and the sunshine and soft, refreshing rain. All good gifts around us are sent from heaven above. Then thank the Lord, oh, thank the Lord for all his love. He, is, he only is the maker of all things near and far. He paints the wayside flower. He lights the evening star. The winds and waves obey him. By him the birds are fed. Much more to us, his children, he gives our daily bread. All gifts, all good gifts around us are sent from heaven above. Then thank the Lord, oh, thank the Lord for all his love. We thank you then, dear Father, for all things bright and good, the seed time and the harvest, your life, our health, our food, and all that we can offer, your boundless love imparts, the gifts to you most pleasing are humble, thankful hearts. All good gifts around us are sent from heaven above. 
then thank the Lord, oh, thank the Lord for all his love. Oh God, all your ways are holy. What God can compare to our God? I cry out to God, cry out to God that he may hear me. In the day of my distress I sought the Lord. My hands were raised at night without ceasing. My soul, conf or my soul refused to be counseled, or consoled, rather. I remembered my God, and I groaned. I pondered, and my spirit fainted. You withheld sleep from my eyes. I was troubled. I could not speak. I thought the days of long ago. I thought of them and remembered the years long past. At night I mused within my heart. I pondered, and my spirit questioned. Will the Lord reject us forever? Will he show us his favor no more? Has his love vanished forever? Has his promise come to an end? Does God forget his mercy, or in anger without withhold rather his compassion? I said, this is what causes my grief, that the way of the Most High has changed. I remember the deeds of the Lord. I remember your wonders of old. I muse on all your works and ponder your mighty deeds. Your ways, O oh God, are holy. What God is as great as our God? You are the God who works wonders. You showed your power among the peoples. Your strong arm redeemed your people, the sons of Jacob and Joseph. The waters saw you, O oh God. The waters saw you and trembled. The depths were moved with terror. The clouds poured rain, the skies sent forth their voice, your arrows flashed to and fro, your thunder rolled around the sky, your flashes lighted up the world, the earth was moved and trembled, when your way led through the sea, your path through the mighty waters, and no one saw your footsteps. You guided your people like a flock by the hand of Moses and Aaron. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Father, you established your ancient covenant by signs and wonders, but more wondrously you confirmed the new one through the sacrifice of your Son. Guide your church through the pathways of life that we may be led to the land of promise and celebrate your name with lasting praise. O oh God, all your ways are holy. What God can compare with our God? My heart, my heart leaps up with joy to the Lord, for he humbles only to exalt us. My heart exults in the Lord. My horn is exalted in my God. I have swallowed up my enemies. I rejoice in my victory. There is no Holy One, like the Lord, there is no rock like our God. Speak boastfully no longer, nor let arrogance issue from your mouths. For an all-knowing God is the Lord, a God who judges deeds. The, bo the, the bows of the mighty are broken, while the tottering gird on strength. The well-fed hire themselves out for bread, while the hungry batten on spoils. The barren wife bears seven sons, but the mother of many languishes. The Lord puts it to death and gives life. He casts down to the netherworld. He raises up again. The Lord makes poor and makes rich. He humbles. He also exalts. He raises the needy from the dust. From the ash heap he lifts up the poor. To set them with nobles and make a glorious throne their heritage. For the pillars of the earth are the Lord's, and he has set the world upon them. He will guard the footsteps of his faithful ones, but the wicked shall perish in the darkness. For not by strength does, he, does man prevail. The Lord's foes shall be shattered. The Most High in heaven thunders. The Lord judges the ends of the earth. Now may he give strength to his king and exalt the horn of his anointed. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. My heart leaps up with joy to the Lord, for he humbles only to exalt us. 
The Lord is king, let the earth rejoice. The Lord is king, let the earth rejoice, let all the coastlands be glad. Cloud and darkness are his raiment, his throne, justice and right. A fire prepares his path, it burns up his foes on every side. His lightnings light up the world, the earth trembles at the sight. The mountains melt like wax before the Lord of all the earth. The skies proclaim his justice, all people see his glory. Let those who serve idols be ashamed, those who boast of their worthless gods. All you spirits worship him. Zion hears and is glad. The people of Judah rejoice because of your judgments, O Lord. For you indeed are the Lord, most high, above all the earth, exalted far and above all spirits. The Lord loves those who hate evil. He guards the souls of his saints. He sets them free from the wicked. Light shines forth for the just, and joy for the upright of heart. Rejoice, you just, in the Lord. Give glory to his holy name. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Father, you clothe the sky with light, and the depths of the ocean with darkness. Among the sons of men you work wonders, and rain terror upon the enemy. Look upon your servants. Do not try us by fire, but bring us rejoicing to the shelter of your home. The Lord is King. Let the earth rejoice. Who will separate us from the love of Christ? Trial or distress or persecution or hunger or nakedness or danger or the sword. Yet in all this we are more than conquerors because of him who has loved us. I will bless the Lord all my life long. I will bless the Lord all my life long. With a song of praise ever on my lips all my life long. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. I will bless the Lord all my life long. Let us serve the Lord in holiness all the days of our life. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant, David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, and holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation, by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness in the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let us serve the Lord in holiness all the days of our life. Blessed be God our Savior, who promised to remain with his church all days until the end of the world. Let us give him thanks and call out, Remain with us, Lord. Remain with us the whole day, Lord. Let your grace be a sun that never sets. Remain with us, O Lord. We dedicate this day to you as an offering. Do not let us offer anything that is evil. Remain with us, Lord. May your gift of light pervade this whole day, that we may be the salt of the earth and the light of the world. Remain with us, Lord. May the love of your Holy Spirit direct our hearts and our lips, and may we always act in accordance with your will. Remain with us, Lord. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. 
and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. O Lord, as a new day dawns, send the radiance of your light to shine in our hearts. Make us true to your teaching. Keep us free from error and sin. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.